When it comes to picking who we think is going to win the NBA championship, I feel like we're always infatuated with the new shiny thing. So during the off season, it was Milwaukee because they traded for Dame and all of a sudden, oh my God, insane dynamic duo. Boston obviously made some big moves. They swapped out Mark Smart for Kristaps Porzingis. Then they go and get Drew Holiday at the last second because of that Dame trade. So like everyone was really focused on them. And oh my God, is the East back? And, and those two seem like the powerhouses. Uh, and then the regular season starts. And you know, those two teams, Boston obviously gets out in front of everyone, 60 plus wins. But then in the West, it's, oh my God, OKC's insanely ahead of schedule. It's, you know, oh my God, Luke and Kyrie are working in Minnesota. That Gobert trade seems to be doing well for them. Clippers trade for James Harden. Obviously, we're never going to shut up about the Lakers and Warriors. And it just feels like there was so much attention on the new shiny thing. And because that's just sort of how our brains work. We always want to talk about the new thing. Meanwhile, Denver was just sitting there doing its thing, you know, just sort of coasting through the regular season as their defending champs usually do. Because again, we don't care about them as much because we already know, hey, we know you could do this. We know you did it already. Now we want to see if this other new thing could be something. Uh, that's just how our brains work. I think it, it, that's how it works in, in sports. I think it's how it works in every walk of life. But, you know, as I sit here today with the playoffs starting tomorrow and I'm thinking about, okay, who do I think is going to win the NBA championship this year? It's still Denver. It's Denver. It, it feels weird to pick the Nuggets because it feels like the obvious boring choice. Like you want to come out with like some, you know, galaxy brain hot take of like, no, I think such and such team can win it because you know, they're going to do X, Y, and Z, but like it's Denver. It's I, like, I feel so confident saying if they're healthy, it's the Nuggets because uh, for starters, they have the best player in the world, an offensive engine, unlike anything we've ever seen. And when you have the best player in the world, that usually gives you a pretty good shot. But beyond that, it's just, it, it's been talked about a lot this year where it's they don't just have the right supporting cast around them, but just like the way everything fits together, where everyone knows their roles and thrives in their roles, and the way it all overlaps, where the like KCP is a 3 and D perimeter defender, and Aaron Gordon's Swiss Army knife bully forward, and, and the Murray Jokic two man game that also can flow into, you know, Aaron Gordon, you know, in the dunker spot or MPJ beyond the arc. Like it just, everything just meshes together so well, and it's so beautiful. And when I think about, you know, who could possibly upset them. Every other team has questions that they need to answer. So Milwaukee, obviously, I mean, Giannis just needs to get healthy and they haven't looked good for most of the season. It's been very up and down. Boston's obviously the big threat considering they won 64 games. But like Boston, you know, has a reputation of they just don't execute well late in games. And when you converse that with Denver, who just seems to get a great offensive shot on every single possession, including late in games, like that just seems like I'm gonna pick Denver because that might be a small difference, but that could, you know, come up big in a play in a finals game. Um, so Boston, like, like, do they have the late game execution? They that's something they've struggled with all, you know, throughout the Tatum and Brown era, where those guys like to settle for jumpers. Uh, but then in the West, you have OKC. You know, they still seem too young. Like, are they? Do they have the experience? Can they bust through with with lack of experience? And they also don't have a lot of size, which is a big problem against. A team like Denver and Nikola Jokic, like Chet Holmgren is their center. Minnesota, do they have the offense needed? And can Anthony Edwards become that guy, even though he hasn't even gotten out of the first round yet, and his town's gonna be healthy? You know, I think D Dallas might be the biggest threat out West, but like, are they gonna be able to get through their matchup with the Clippers, and are they gonna be healthy? Are the Clippers gonna be healthy, and is James Harden gonna flame out again? Uh, just like every team has so many questions, and I just think like, okay, all those teams have stuff they need to overcome, but like if Denver just does what they do, then they'll be fine because as we saw last year, it's more than capable of getting them a championship. And what's also the big kicker in favor of Denver is that all those teams also have to answer, aside from the questions that they need to answer in terms of their execution at both ends and, and schemes and stuff like that, like they all have that question of like, you know, can they get it done? Can they overcome, you know, the hurdle, the championship hurdle? Do they have what it takes? Are they going to be able to stay mentally strong enough to do it? Are the lights gonna get too bright for them? All that stuff that you can't really overcome until you actually do it and win the championship. Well, good news for Denver is that they've already done it. So we don't have to ask that question. You know, like Jamal Murray, his numbers might look so-so during the regular season, but like we've seen him turn it up in the playoffs. He might actually be the only guy in NBA history who has to prove it during the regular season. He averaged like 20 points, 10 assists, in the finals, and like Aaron Gordon shut down every single best player's, you know, star player, like KCP, obviously won a championship with the Lakers also, MPG, like those guys, they know how to do it. 
they know exactly what it takes. They are not going to be overwhelmed. And when you think about every other team, like that still hasn't done it. So they're, you know, they're gonna have to overcome that stuff, especially in the West when at the top, it's it's young teams like Minnesota, like OKC. Um, like, like, so you just think of that advantage that Denver has where like, they just know, they know exactly what they need to do to reach the pinnacle, not just to win games, but to reach the pinnacle. And there's a big difference and they know exactly who they are as a team, right? It's not like a Milwaukee situation. It's not like a Boston situation down the stretch. They know exactly who they are. They know exactly what they do at both ends and how to execute. And they can be confident in knowing that that execution has won them at the highest level. And so again, it, it feels boring. It feels predictable to pick the defending champs to repeat. But like, when I think of just like, who could I pick to, to upset them? It's just every team has that question mark. They have a question that they need to answer. And, and Denver just, it, it's the star power, it's the supporting pieces, it's it's the chemistry, it's the cohesion, it's the execution, it's the having already done it. And so when I think of all that stuff, both from the Nuggets side and from you know their potential opponents, it's just like, why would I pick someone else just to pick someone else? Like that's not like, yeah, it might be cool and trendy and different, but it's also probably just gonna be wrong. And I'd rather be right if I can, like, <laughs> so like assuming they're healthy, it's the Nuggets and that might not be so appealing, but like, like it's, it's not the shiny new thing, but like they, they've just been coasting, you know, going through the season all year long and you know, yeah, it's, it's just, it's the obvious choice, but it's the obvious choice for obvious reasons. And I'm going to stick with them and feel pretty confident about it. <laughs>